Well, with us right now from the Duplicate Bridge Club, we have Fran Schwartz. Good to see you, Fran. Nice to see you, Kim. And of course, our good friend Sally is here today. Hi, Jack. And uh, along with a lot of the stuff that the Bridge Club does, all the, the fun games and the events that you do and the tournaments, all kinds of things, uh, sometimes you work with other organizations for different events, right? Yes, in fact, we're working with the Alzheimer's Association in conjunction with the program The Longest Day, uh, which is the summer solstice, June 21st. Mm -hmm. uh, bridge, a, bridge players across the nation are going to be playing and raising money for bridge, uh, for the brain, and helping Alzheimer's research uh, on that day. So as far as the, uh, playing the games, are there going to be, uh, like for each game, a donation? Well, how it's going to be is uh, bridge players and, and any community member who wants to participate in supporting the Alzheimer's Research Fund can pick up a donation sheet at the Bridge Club okay. or on our website. Uh, and contribute, ask their friends, their families, their neighbors to help support a team playing bridge that day. Okay, and uh, that way I guess on these forums you can donate yes, whatever you'd like. Yes, or if you uh, don't want to do it online and you want to come up to the Bridge Club and pick up a form, there's a uh, form available on the uh, table and a box for you to put your donations in. Very good. Actually, uh, you can go to Laguna, Ridge, <laughs> Laguna Woods Bridge Club. Okay, and lagunabridge.com, right? Dot yes. com, and uh, hopefully we'll have something on the website at this point where you can hit and get that um, paper okay. at home. Donation yeah, sheet. Yeah, so you don't have to come down. And you might be sitting there and saying, maybe watching this segment, who knows, and say, you know what, I'd like to help on something like that. I remember Aunt Mary yeah. or something like that. Or so, if you're there a you bridge go. player in the community who doesn't belong to the Duplicate Bridge Club and would like to support this effort, uh, and all of us have been touched by Alzheimer's uh, in some way, either our friends, our family, our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need to fight this disease as much as we need to fight cancer and other uh, diseases because they affect us all. Right, exactly. And I understand there are different special events planned for the day? Yes, we're going to have our regular game at 1230 and uh, we will also be having a potluck at 530 and an evening game as well. Okay, so full day. So, so yes, a full day of bridge. Uh, we hope that some of our working players will make it to the evening game and any bridge player in the community who wants to play that day and support Alzheimer's is welcome at our club. Yeah, and I know that uh, just from Sally being on and uh, some other people from the Duplicate Bridge Club that there's a lot of people that maybe have, haven't played for a long time and want to get back into it. And I know you offer different kinds of classes and ways for people to kind of uh, reconnect to the game of bridge, right? Yes. In fact, we had a wonderful program, Learn Bridge in a Day, and over 70 people participated in that. And from that, over 45 people have been taking continuing classes mm -hmm. uh, on beginning bridge, modern bridge. Right. Uh, and it's been wonderful. They love it and they're faithful and they play after the uh, lesson and have they a They have great a little time. game of their own now. Yeah. That's oh, they up. do. You remember I was on with Michael. Yeah. And he yeah. is the one that went to the longest day. Right. I mean the longest day. He went to uh, the Learn Bridge in a right. day and then he went to the classes, has gone to the classes and he goes to the whole thing and then plays in the games and it's if once you get started and you get over the angst of what um, yeah. <laughs> duplicate bridge is, it's fun, it's competitive, and I'd like to throw in on this longest day, the reason that they called it the longest day is um, 
when we first started doing this, we're too old now, I guess, to really do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But we started with a game in the morning one, with oh, breakfast, wow. one at lunch, mm -hmm. you know, playing, and then in the evening and the whole thing. But it was a good way to raise money. And mm -hmm. um, a lot of us are used to those kind of long games because we go to tournament play. Right. And you play like that at a tournament. How long are, is an average game? About three and a half hours. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yes. Wow. And when I you go to a tournament, that. you'll play in the morning, you'll play in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and you'll play in the at evening. Night. You know, it's not, hello, it's not for wimps. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. You have to go to the gym in order to play bridge. Yeah. Well, bridge is good for the brain. And in fact, uh, this program with Alzheimer's started through some, a, a member of our community. Herb Schwartz, a former member of GRF, I believe, and uh, a senior, California senior senator, uh, and uh, a participant in the 90-year-old program through UCI, and on the board of uh, their Brain Institute, um, was a friend of the AC, a former ACBL president, mm -hmm. and through him got this program started with ACBL, and it's been in at least five years. Wow. Uh, so actually, eight, yeah. Millions, every bridge club in the country is participating yeah. in this program. Fantastic. We now have the longest day okay. because yeah. of, of those people starting this, and that's kind of a special thing for Laguna Woods. Yes. Yeah, very good. Now, again, this is going to be on June 21st at Clubhouse 7, right? Mm -hmm. Do people need to sign up? For the games and all. No, they well, they can call in their reservation if okay. they're coming. Okay. But because or they can email, I guess. Yeah. Well, the other thing is when we did that at the beginning, where we did morning, afternoon, and evening, we were providing breakfast, you know, yes. and lunch, and then you needed reservations. Now we've got it down to we play two times a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, two yeah, two times yeah. in the day. You bring your own lunch or you ate lunch before you left, and the reason for the potluck is to keep the people who came in the afternoon, an okay. opportunity to stay over, have something to eat, people coming in from work, something to eat, and then you're ready to go play again. Yeah. All right, and Sally's gonna bring what? Sally, meatballs? oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Sally always uh, brings in a barbecue. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. My friend Ken here is the world's greatest barbecue. Oh, Very okay. good. All right, so again, people can go to lagunabridge.com right. for information. And then on uh, the 21st is the June 21st. We want to make sure it's people yes. know it's not May. Uh, they're going to have this at Clubhouse 7. And you can register online or uh, give you folks a call if uh, the number is 268-2420, which is the right. number that's listed on your, on your web page. And if you just want to call that number and get some information from there. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. know or, that you'll get information. You'll get an answering machine right. taking reservations for okay. the, that day. All right. Very good. Good to see you both. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and you for taking time for us. Yes, of course. Always for you. For the longest yeah. day. Yeah. For we'll the be, longest day. We'll be right back. Yeah. Um,